I know a person who lives what you would call a hard life. Someone who might have been trying to help by putting opportunities in front of in front of this person. Um, sad to say, this person did not rise to the occasion. Can you hear me? Sad to say, this person did not rise to the occasion. And it seems like these opportunities will have been lost. So I brought this before spirit. Mourning and complaining about the loss of opportunities for this person whom I am have been trying to help. And spirit said to me, not to worry, they are resilient. And I replied, yes, I know they are resilient. I know they are strong. But I would rather that they had a peaceful, smooth flowing life. And spirit said to me that everyone has to do what they think they have to do. And so if a person thinks that they have to be resilient, then they will create in their lives situations where they have to be resilient. And resilient they will be. But one needs to ask, was it really necessary to create those situations where resilience was a must? Could one not rather have created situations where life was not necessarily easy all the time, I would say, but flowing, I would say. Just as a river in nature never flows as straight as a drain, it twists, it turns, it meanders, but it always flows. Would it not be better to create life situations that have a natural flow to them rather than to create life situations that require one to be resilient and tough and strong to overcome? It's a fine line, of course, and it's paradox again, of course. You do want to be resilient when situations call for it. You do want to be strong when the need arises. You do want to be tough when you have to be tough. But you don't really want to create situations to test yourself when you don't have to test yourself. When Christ met Saul of Tarsus on the road to Damascus, Saul was on a religious war path, seeking to destroy all the followers of Jesus. And Christ met him on the road to Damascus in a bright light 
that struck him down to the ground off his horse and struck him blind. And Saul said, Lord, who are you? He understood the use of force. Forcefully struck blind and struck off his horse, he realized this being was his Lord. In other words, he cried, Uncle. Anyway, Christ said to him, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. But significantly, he said to Saul, It is hard for you to kick against the goads. A goad is a cattle prod, a sharp stick in our modern day. Yeah. An electric powered stick that gives a sharp jolt of electricity when applied to one's skin. A gold was a sharp stick used to move cattle along because if that huge cow did not want to move, there's no way you would get it to move, except to poke it with a painful stick. That's what a goat is, was, a cattle prod. And so Christ said to Saul of Tarsus, It is hard for you to kick against the goats. Doesn't take a genius to realize that. It's hard to kick against a cattle prod, obviously, but again, significantly, it is not impossible to do so. And in this life, there are people who, it seems, are determined to kick against the goats, to fight against this life to struggle, to defeat the forces of nature. It is hard, sure, but it can be done. But more important to ask is, should it be done? Does it have to be done? If you had a scenic route to get from point A to point B, and at the same time you had a rocky high altitude, a life threatening route to get from point A to point B, is it really necessary to take the hard route? Sure, you might want to take it for exercise, but is it really necessary to risk your life to kick against the goats when you could have a life that flows with the forces of nature? It's impressive to defeat the forces of nature. It shows that you are strong. But observe the water that flows in the mighty rivers with the forces of nature. They can carve a great ravine through rock. They can turn that rock into sand. Try to dam that river and you might encounter energy release that's equivalent to a bomb being released upon the land. 
So again, there are times to fight against nature, though I would say those are few and far between. And there are times to fight with nature, and there I say that is almost all the time. Go with the forces of nature. Go with the flow. Run with the wind. Float with the stream. You'll go further. 